Grover has made some technical mistakes tonight. Though. Correct. There's been some opportunities, some control. Oh! It's out! He's got it's me! Under the net. He, he got the hand he down, got though. The hand. He got the hand. No, but they still got it again. Oh, it. Yes! yes! UFC 275 had some of the most anticipated fights of the year. From the rematch between Zhang Wei Li and Joanna Janjacek and the championship title fight between Glover Teixeira and Yuri Prohaska. Today we're taking a look at the best highlights from UFC 275, Teixeira vs Prohaska. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and check back every week for more Ultimate MMA. To start off the night, we had welterweight fighters Jack Della Maddalena going against Ramazan Imeyev. Both of these prospects were eager to move up the rankings, but this fight was standing in their way. Right away, it looked like Imeyev might get the submission victory, but Maddalena had other plans. Yeah, this is bad for Jack. It's fantastic for Imeyev. Oh, wow! Oh, oh, he's out of the the Make the of the crowd! Or go to crypto.com slash fan bonus and help your three favorite athletes win up to 30k in Bitcoin right now. Now Jack's getting to work. This is what he does. Della Madalena rip by the side. That's it. It's over. 12 in a row for Jack Della Madalena. Wow. Madalena slipped out of the choke and followed up with strikes that knocked him may have to the mat. This was yet another victory for the Australian, and we can't wait to see who he takes on next. Next up, we had yet another welterweight matchup between Andre Fialho and Jake Matthews. Both were known to have a huge amount of knockout power, so we were all on the edge of our seats waiting to see who would go down first. Oh, and again, oh, 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 oh. I, I mean, <laughs> I'm watching a different dude. It was a high energy fight with great exchanges on both sides, but in round two, Matthews landed the finishing blows. We can't wait to see if Matthews can keep the victories coming. Next up, we had a highly anticipated rematch. The last time Zhang Wei Li and Joanna Janjicek battled it out ended up being one of the greatest fights of the year. Now we would see if these two warriors could make it happen one more time. Joanna's constantly. Oh! Both these fighters picked up right where they left off and gave a fantastic performance. But by round two, Wei Li landed the strike that took Joanna down. It was here Joanna threw in the gloves and retired. We'll miss seeing the strawweight queen in the octagon. Next up, we had a fight for the title, as Tyler Santos took on the dominant flyweight champion Valentina Shevchenko. At this point, Shevchenko had defended her title six times and it didn't seem like anybody had what it took to take her down. But Tyler Santos gave Shevchenko a run for her money. Inside of the octagon. Oh. And how about that? Shevchenko a little slip as she tried to take Santos down. And yeah. now Tyler trying to work off of Shevchenko's back. And this is amazing! Got the bag, got the neck crank so far. Can she get it under the chin? And this is what I said to Valentina. I said, at some point, when you zig, when you should have zagged, you yep. go when you should have read, you go for a takedown and make a mistake and lose balance, things can happen. Are you aware of this? Do you ever allow yourself to think about these possibilities? Except Tyler. Tyler's nasty. She said no. Well, that's the problem, right? She, she is behind and understands now that she can be taken down. So is she going to be willing to risk being more aggressive? Wow. Beautiful. Gonna watch the back dog. Yep, big headlock by the champ, and watch. Oh, over! Oh my goodness. Santos, look at that. Wow. Come on. Under two minutes here to go round. Down it is again! Big takedown for Santos, now working off the back. I don't understand how, honestly, you could score round one for the champ, and Santos had her back the whole time. I still wonder if. Oh! That is bad. That's what, what, what's wrong? Groin right right kick. Right yeah. Groin kick. Well, some wondered if Santos was getting this opportunity too soon. And able to get a big takedown late in round four. Talk about timing. 
I mean, that is how it's done. That was a thing of beauty. It's not going to win in the round, but it's going to stop her absorbing any more damage and potentially to get it all. It may be able to slow Valentina down because she got super aggressive because she didn't expect the takedowns because she didn't think she could steer. It was a controversial decision, but the judges swayed in favor of Shevchenko. This let Bullet keep her belt for now, but it also highlighted some of her weaknesses. Will Santos come back to take the title? Next up, we had the main fight of the night, and it did not disappoint. Light heavyweight challenger Yuri Prohaska was taken on the champion Glover Teixeira. Neither of these warriors were going to give up easily, and this fight proved it. Well, we've had a lot of great live events in 2022. None better than UFC 275. Prohaska working partially off the back here. Wisely rolls, looking for a leg now. Passes to side control, does Yuri. I mean, Yuri perhaps has oh. to the world here tonight that he is yeah. not only a striker, he can grapple, he can hold his own on the ground with the best. Grover has made some technical mistakes tonight. Though. Correct. There's been some opportunities to control. Oh! It's there! He's got it's it! Coming down. He, he, he got the hand he down, got the hand, He got the hand. No, but they still got it again. Oh, oh, it. Yes! Yeah! Yeah, he's done it! Nearly at the gun! There is a new light heavyweight champion! The Czech Republic has got one! Gary Prohaska! This fight was a war in every round. But in round five, Yuri finally got his hooks in and forced Tejera to tap. With a fight this close and exciting, we can't wait to see the rematch at UFC 282. Who do you think will win the rematch? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and check back every week for more Ultimate MMA.